All right, business owners, fellow business owners that are being screwed over by Google. Um, this has been the talk of the town. So basically Thursday night, a lot of people woke up to reviews missing on their Google business profiles, which is leading to a lot of panic, understandably. Um, we had some drop off Blue Crocus solutions. I've had a ton of clients reach out to me that, um, you know, they they lost reviews and they're continuing to lose reviews as, uh, you know, the day went by on Friday and as we woke up today on Saturday. So what can you do? Well, in the description for this video, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook watching this um, live or after, I have put a link to a blog post that I did about a year and a half ago um, when the same sort of thing happened. So you can go in and step-by-step step how to basically ask for reinstatement of the reviews. If you have um, customers that have left reviews and you know, you know, they tell you that they have, but you're not seeing them, you know, use their name as um, proof to Google that you're missing reviews. You know, you can also say, hey, I'm missing, you know, reviews. We had some, uh, you know, a certain number and now we're down to this. But here's the kicker. I have been hearing a lot um, and uh, tested this on a couple. It does appear that the counter of the reviews, so where it says, you know, you've got X number of five-star reviews, it does appear that that counter is actually what's off, not necessarily that you've lost reviews. So very concerning. But if you actually go through and count the reviews, you may find that you actually have the number of reviews that you had before. So go through and check that. But you can still reach out to Google to ask for that reinstatement because, um, and I'd probably recommend doing this at least twice a year. We've done this, gotten back five reviews. Clients have done this, you know, when they didn't even know that they had or didn't think that they had any reviews missing, you know, a year ago, and they got back a bunch of reviews. So again, the link is in the description to this video, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, um, whether you're watching it live or after. If you can comment, you know, Google reviews in the um, comments, that helps the algorithm, you know, drive it up. I've been being tagged left, right, and center today. Um, it's been... Uh, you know, it's been a crazy time. Tons of people messaging me today. So I've just been, you know, sending this out to as many places as I can. But remember, you know, even if your counter is off, like I just said, and it does appear to be that way for some, obviously, you have, if you have over, you know, 100, 200, 500 reviews, it's going to take you a long time to count it. So I would still go through the reinstatement process that's laid out in that blog post that I've linked below. And you'll probably get some reviews back. But just keep in mind that the review counter seems to be the issue that is off on the Google reviews kind of being missing and, and people's numbers dropping. So Google's obviously doing an update. They're being a little bit overzealous. They've made a mistake somewhere. Um, you may actually have lost some reviews. You may actually not have. So count them, you know, kind of see where you are. But either way, even if you haven't, you know, lost them from, you know, a couple of days ago, it's still probably worth just putting in a, a ticket to say, hey, I've lost, uh, you know, some reviews or, or whatever, especially if you have screenshots from clients where they've left reviews and they're not coming through. You know, put those, put that ticket in um, and you'll most likely get some reviews back. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Hope you're doing well. I guess I said that's it, but I'm, I'm going to come in with one final thought here. Google is fantastic. We play in their sandbox. They go a little crazy sometimes. Google is also really crazy and really frustrating as a business owner. But you need to be building your business everywhere. You need to be building in-person networking. You need to be building relationships with contractors. You need to be building relationships with you know any number of the parallel industries that work with and can refer business over to your business. You need to have awesome branding. I saw Dan Antonelli talk about it today. You know, the one thing Google can't take away is your brand. The one thing Google can't take the other thing Google can't take away is your networking, your relationships. Um, you should be on social media. You really want to be developing a bunch of different ways to get leads. If you're relying on one way to get leads, whether it's Google and whether it's working amazing for you, you are not diversifying the way that you should be and could be. So take this as an opportunity to look at, okay, can I be doing email marketing, SMS marketing? Um, those are platforms that I own. You know, can, can you be doing Facebook ads? Can you be doing Google ads? Can you be active on those platforms even if you're not spending money? Um, can you be doing networking? Can you be doing BNI groups? Can you be doing Chamber of Commerce networking? These are things that Google cannot take away. Google is a fantastic opportunity and a ton of people have made a ton of money. I play in the sandbox every day. You should be on Google and SEO can be powerful, but you shouldn't be entirely dependent on one platform. Facebook could go down, TikTok could go down, we just saw that. 
So look at how you can diversify your income streams, your, your lead streams, and go reinstate your reviews. Hope this helps, guys. Again, Lewis out. Reach out to me if you have any questions. Check out that blog post. And I hope that you have an incredible evening and uh, incredible weekend. Talk soon.